Good day everybody. Let's talk about contact groups in Gmail and why you might want to make one. The purpose of a contact group is so that you can email a large group of people by typing only in one label into your Gmail that you're getting ready to send. It's not the same thing as a Google group. Contact groups only belong to you, the person who creates the group, and individual members can't email the group. Um, groups inside of Google are set by the uh, division or the company, and um, they decide what permissions those individual group members have as far as email goes. So let's learn how to make a contact group. Google Contacts live in the waffle here, and that is the icon right there, and if you click it, you will see that it sends you to the address contacts.google.com and you can always type that into the Omnibox to get there without going to the waffle. On this landing page, the first thing that we're going to do to create a contact group is we're going to come up with a label title. And so you can see this is something I use a lot. I have lots of labels because I have three schools and this helps me keep my groups of people straight when I'm trying to contact them. At the bottom there is create a label. And I'm going to click that and we're going to call this fake group for today and save. All right, now that we have a label, we are ready to create our group. Now I can just simply go through my contacts and add people to my group. So I'm over here in my contacts where I'm seeing all of my contacts. And if I just scroll down that list and as I find people I wanna add, I just go to hover over their icon and you can see it changes into a check, check box and then I can put checks in people that are in my contact list. Well, I, you see I have a lot of contacts. I can kind of zoom through pretty quickly by grabbing this gray bar over here. And you can see I even get some alphabet letters so I can do a little searching. And once I have those three people selected that I want to be in the group, I go to this icon right here, which is the label icon, click it, find that group that I just made, and then apply. I can also search for individual members in my contacts. Search for myself there. Okay, go to the three dots once the individual member comes up and find where you want to put that person and then click the name of the group and you'll see the blue check. And then when you close that box, you'll see down here, you can see that I'm being added to that group. All right, so let's say that we have um, some emails sitting in a spreadsheet or that you've um, copied and pasted from somewhere else and you wanna make a group out of those email addresses. So here's how you do that. I have made some email addresses on a Google Sheet. I can't just copy and paste them into contacts. Contacts doesn't let you do that. So you need to make them into a CSV file. And here is what you do. You go to the file menu and you click download and comma separated value or CSV. It is going to create an Excel spreadsheet in the format of CSV and there it is saving it for me and you can see I've already saved it a little bit earlier so I'm gonna cancel there but I have that spreadsheet created as a CSV and I'll be able to upload it. So going back to contacts I'm going to scroll up here and choose create contact and when I click on that I have the option to create multiple contacts and here I need to make sure that I've added the label this is the important step that I've added the label that I want those contacts to fall under now I can click this blue link right here and import my CSV file so I'm going to go select it there it is open it and click import. So I just super quickly imported all of those people into my fake group and also made them a part of my contacts. So I'm all set to basically send an email to this group now that I have some members in it. So now over to Gmail, click that plus sign to compose and depending on whether I want my group members to see who's in the group or not, if I want them to see who's in the group, I can just start typing 
There's my fake group. Okay, I can just hover there and paste that in there. And that's what that looks like. If I do not want my groups to see who is in the group, I'm going to use BCC and still type the one group name, fake group. They go in as BCC and I'm all ready to send an email. And that is how and why you might want to use a contact group in Google.